Right, so, so I'm gonna man the projector and talk at the same time. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, my name is Luke Thomas. I work for a company called YesGraph, and we're building software to help scale the referral recruiting process. Uh, but before I really dig in and show you the software, I want to give you a, a, just a brief overview of the different hiring channels you can use. Because as many of you probably already know, hiring in Boston and other competitive industries is really tough. Um, so the first thing you can do is you can put the job posting on your careers page. It's a bit like the field of dreams. If you build it, are they really going to show up? And more often than not, this doesn't happen. And the reason why is because you don't have a real uh, brand associated uh, with what you're working with. And, uh, and so as a result, um, you don't get as many candidates. The candidate volume isn't that high quality. You know, you're, you're just not a Facebook or a Google. Um, the next thing you could do is you could go through a job board. And you know, if you blast this out to like a monster.com, you get hundreds of responses. And oftentimes, uh, this doesn't really take into consideration the fact that there's passive candidates that are working uh, at current companies, and they're not active candidates, uh, who are typically the people that are searching uh, through like a job board. Um, next, you could go through LinkedIn. It's a slow, manual process. You can sign up for the recruiter tools. You can get in-mail. You can do all that. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're sending a cold email, typically to someone who gets these three, four, five times a week, um, especially if, you know, if, if they're highly sought after, as most you know, senior level engineers are. Um, so at the end of the day, you might get a 5 to 10% uh, response rate. That's biased to people that uh, respond to cold outreach. Um, and as a result, this is very time consuming. It can take hours and hours a week. And as a result, the cost goes up. Next, you could go with an agency. An agency is going to charge anywhere from 15 to 20%. They'll bring in candidates, but they'll also take a good cut in the same time. And so this can be really, really expensive as well. And so the next thing you could do is you could use referral-based hiring. The benefit to referral-based hiring is the fact that, um, you know, and I'll use myself as an example, I know what it takes to work at YesGraph, both from a culture fit as well as a talent fit. And, you know, if we're trying to hire, I know what it takes um, to go. So the quality bar is up here. Um, where the other channels, it's, it's a decent amount lower quality. Um, but the problem with this is that um, as the company grows and scales, it's very tough to manage this process because this is time consuming too. And that's what we're here uh, at YesGraph trying to solve. And I'm actually not gonna do a live demo, but uh, this is a, I'm gonna show you the, the free software portion. And, uh, and you can do this right now, it's live. Um, so the first thing you can do as the hiring manager, you sign up with uh, Facebook or LinkedIn, and you know you have your specific job posting. In this example, we're trying to hire a software engineer. We bubble up the best results to the top, and you can quickly uh, move your way through these listings and recommend or skip certain candidates. So these four people right here, I can you know recommend all four of them within 10 seconds. Super super easy. Um, next, what happens is we take that same general gist of how you make the referral, and then we uh, give you the ability to invite others to do the same thing. And uh, we call these people connectors. You can send out a link to these people. Uh, we also recommend certain people that we think would be a good fit, or you can just send them an email. Uh, so this kind of expands your hiring effort by quite a bit. Um, one thing that we've noticed is that the uh, Referral-based recruiting is extremely uh, helpful and beneficial when you get the entire team involved in the process. And I gotta run through this really quick. But so this is actually live data. This is uh, positions that we're looking to hire. But if you're a team member, you're proactively notified when a new job uh, position opens. You can then invite connectors of your own. You can also make referrals. That's part of our paid tier right there. Um, and this is what you get when uh, you make a referral. Um, this information is sent back to the hiring manager with a listing of the, the person that recommended them so you can proceed to do some outreach. Um, and wrapping things up, YesGraph is a tool to help you with referral-based uh, hiring, um, but there's some things that you could do tomorrow uh, to make this process work at your company. The first thing you could do is stress to the team that it's super important to get referrals. Um, to the people who have already made referrals, give them kudos, say thank you. 
more often than not, these people aren't necessarily motivated by you know a referral bonus, but instead they want to work with people that they know do a great job. And lastly, use YesGraph. We built it. We uh, made it really easy to get referrals, and we'd love for you to get on it. So uh, that's it. I'll take any questions you have. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Uh, I, I guess I didn't have enough time for that. But uh, $20 per month per a team member. Um, so the more you, people you invite to the team, um, clearly uh, that, that increases. Um, we're also looking at like a company-wide license um, as well. Um, we actually, you know, we've been around for a couple of years, um, but we still have, you know, uh, a variety of things that we're working on. And pricing, really nailing down pricing is one of them. Sure, so uh, we, we kind of have an algorithm. Um, it's largely, to be honest, based on keywords. So if I'm looking for a Ruby Rails engineer, um, then you know we can list those people at the top because we're pulling that data from LinkedIn um, or Facebook. So that's how it works. Could we also incorporate something a little more qualitative? That could be a differentiator between you Sure, definitely. And, and there's a variety of things that we plan on doing. Um, one of them, as an example, is simply uh, listing people that may have uh, already been connected. So let's say they're connected to three people at the company. You can do a few things around that. Um, we definitely have more in the pipeline. Any other questions? Um, so I like this because it's, it seems to fill a niche that is still jerry-rigged in a lot. And even with LinkedIn and a lot of others, it's still kind of a jerry-rigged process. Um, what happens for people who want, is there, is there a way to, in, a, in effect, raise your hand and say, I, w I want to be identified? Uh, it's a great question. It's something that we have intentions of pursuing in the future, although at this uh, point in time, we're very focused on uh, getting company-wide use. Do you use your own product? Yeah, we definitely do. And I'll show you, jump back. Uh, these are actually real referrals, and uh, yeah, we're just, this is this is live data right here, and it works really well. Have you tried giving out for free and then subscribing after one month? Uh, it's actually what we, so the, the basic functionality, and I'll jump back really quick, sorry about this. Um, this here, um, this process around recommending, and then inviting connectors, um, and when people make referrals, that's all free. You can do that right now. Um, but when you actually add team members, these team members, and let me jump here, um, th these people uh, can make uh, referrals and connect other people. And that's something that on the free tier, you, uh, as you're essentially the hiring manager, and you can't uh, essentially invite other team members. Um, so it's, it's a little, sorry, it's a little tiny bit confusing. Um, but it's, uh, there's benefits around getting that entire team involved. But we do have a free tier, and the, and the Teams tier has a 15-day free trial, so you can test it out and have fun. How do you screen for people not just hiring their friends that may or may not be qualified? So it's a good question, and uh, it, this is something I think it's a, it tends to be more of a management thing. So let's say you know you have someone, and I, I've actually heard this a few times, You know, people make recommendations just because they're in it for the money. And clearly, that's not the, the right motivation. Um, and so that's something as management you need to communicate effectively. So like I said, this is a tool to help, but it can't you know, solve all these problems around uh, getting referrals. So is there like incentives or compensation behind referrals built into the system, or is that just up to the company to do on their own? At this point, it's up to the company, but I think it could very well be something that we integrate. Because uh, as you see, Totally skipping there. Um, as you can see here, it's really easy to track the people that actually recommend. And that's actually a pretty big problem because you know someone will say, hey, I actually recommended this person, and they really didn't. And so in this example, there's some actual data that kind of proves that. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Luke.
Join Boston New Technology Meetup. Sponsor an event or a venue. Present your idea and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.